here we back with another one man with another one now today brothers we're gonna talk about the cynthia g fans are reacting to her channel getting terminated we got to get into it man we got to get into it now it's sad when you got grown folks who can't just keep it real with themselves man if you watch my last video where i was talking about storm monroe this dude playing stupid talking about he got a youtube attorney on payroll that's gonna get cynthia g channel back man these folks grown these are grown men and women acting like they're in the cafeteria at high school man just not living in reality living in alternate realities man but today we're gonna talk about a lady by the name of i believe her name is love jones right love jones show and i'm gonna jump into some of her commentary on the situation because i believe it was interesting right and i'm gonna jump into her comment section we're gonna take a look at some of the reactions and i just want to respond to her video so i can set the record straight because maybe she doesn't have all the information maybe she doesn't have all the knowledge maybe she needs some clarification so today i'm gonna be happy to be of service so anyways man we're gonna jump into her video and i'm gonna jump in and out of my commentary not wasting no time run the footage she created a secondary channel called the revolution will be um or won't be televised i believe and i had subscribed to that channel and actually was doing good because she had enough subscribers within like a day or so of her posting it to where she could go live you know i'm sure it was instantly monetized because she has a following she cynthia g we all know who cynthia g is she is the goat at what she does and um I remember her, she had gone live with Storm and she was basically saying she, there was really no rhyme or reason. Like what guidelines, you know, are, is she like going against? Like, why would anyone strike her? Because I don't really know. All right, we back. Now, similar to Storm Monroe in the last video, this lady right here, she playing stupid, right? She playing stupid or maybe she doesn't have all the information. So I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt, right? Now, Storm Monroe, he knows why she got terminated, but he just playing dumb to protect her brand, to protect his friend. But maybe this lady right here doesn't have all the information. Listen, baby, the reason why she got terminated was because she was reported directly to YouTube because she violated the hate speech guidelines. It wasn't about anything that she said in regards to black men. It was about what she said in regards to black children. Once you talk about children, you have crossed the line. You have crossed the threshold. There is no coming back from that. So at the end of the day, if y'all can't even keep it real with Cynthia G in regards to why she got terminated, it's a reason why, like I said, this entire army of women that follow Cynthia G, like I said, y'all live in alternate realities. Y'all can't even keep it real with each other, man. If you can't even keep it real about the reason why she got terminated, then I know for a fact, none of you can keep it real with each other. And I know for a fact, when you look in the mirror, you cannot keep it real with yourself. And I already dropped a video days ago going deep on this topic. Entitled, take a look up on the screen, the real reason Cynthia G banned from YouTube. I dive deep into the article. I gave you the reason why. I gave you the person responsible for reporting her to YouTube. The, the information is public knowledge. And Cynthia G already knows this because whenever something like this happens, whenever you get a strike on YouTube, they send you an email, they give you a link to the video that was reported, and they give you the reason why, they give you the exact guideline that you broke and you violated. So Cynthia G knows why she got terminated, but she won't come out and say it, she playing stupid. I saw the video with Storm Monroe, I saw the interview, she was playing stupid, she was like, man, I don't know, I don't understand why, you know, I don't, I don't understand why. And it's crazy because even if Cynthia G was working a corporate job, and then her employer had found out that she was speaking the way she was speaking in regards to black children, she would also lose her job it was no different when you are part of the youtube partner program you are essentially an independent contractor working for google so google has the right as a private company to terminate your contract at any given moment once you are disgracing the image of the company and that's what she did that's what she did she used her platform to discuss violence and hatred against black children and rightfully so google told her to get the fuck up out of here man so y'all gotta keep it real with yourself man keep it real with yourself before anything but anyways let's continue the video that they said violated the guidelines was two years old. Yes, Francis, I heard that too. And I'm like, this is crazy. Like it, the only thing I could think of is like, maybe her message is permeating too much or she's ruffled the feathers of someone that's like a gatekeeper to the social media space because we don't even realize that there's a lot of invisible hands and a lot of invisible strings being pulled, you know, and shook behind the scenes. So you just really never know. Um, hopefully she down. Now, in this section of the video, she was talking about that the YouTube video that was flagged by Cynthia G, that was flagged for Cynthia G by YouTube, was two years old. But let me tell you, it doesn't matter if it was 20 years old. It could have been 15 years old. There is no statute of limitations in regards to YouTube's terms of service. It doesn't matter, okay? Because YouTube is in the business of getting advertising dollars. So if you are a content creator promoting rhetoric that can be deemed inflammatory on your channel in regards to a certain population of children... Yes, they're going to cut ties with you because YouTube is in the business of getting advertising dollars. 
and you are now placing the revenue in jeopardy because these big companies, these big corporations do not want to be associated with any lunatic ranting and raving on the internet talking about hate speech against children. I'm sorry to tell you, bro. I'm sorry to tell you. Start your own website if you want to promote that bullshit. And YouTube's policy is no secret. They tell you straight up in the terms of service. They tell you this platform identifies hate speech as any content that incites hatred or promotes hateful ideologies, especially towards vulnerable populations. In regards to child safety, YouTube prohibits content that and endangers the emotional or physical well-being of children and it doesn't matter if it was two years ago 10 years ago 30 years ago that day that cynthia g hopped on the microphone and decided to preach the elimination of a whole demographic of children that was the end of her career she signed her death wish in regards to her youtube career it's over it's done with it's done with it was a long time coming but it's done with and if you want to know who is responsible for the elimination of cynthia g take a look up on the screen this lady right here ashley bellinger senior policy reporter at ars technica she put out an article about two or three weeks ago talking about cynthia g's inflammatory hate speech against children go watch that video i put out a couple days ago entitled the real reason cynthia g banned from youtube i dive deep into the subject but i'm gonna read some snippets from the article for y'all for those who didn't watch that take a look up on the screen youtube has removed one video and stopped monetizing youtube influencer cynthia g's channel after finding that the account repeatedly violated youtube's policy by posting videos over the past two years that accumulated tens of thousands of views by calling for black abortions the decision came after an ARS reader asked ARS to investigate why these videos do not violate YouTube's community guidelines. The article went on to say, the video that YouTube removed was titled, if aborting black males is not the solution, then what is? It was posted back in 2021, and as of last week, still qualified for ad monetization. In the video, Cynthia G said that a lot of people consider the solution to be something horrible that is genocidal and proved a racist justification, saying that the only way to counter black male violence is to eliminate black men. YouTube did not remove other videos flagged by ARS on the same topic. One video titled, Do Black Women Benefit From Birthing Black Males? Directs hate at black male children. That is why YouTube sniped her channel, bruh. That is why YouTube sniped her channel. It's one thing to rant and rave about your bum baby daddy and your bum ass father, but once you decide to step over the line and start ranting and raving about the innocent toddlers, the innocent babies, nah man, nah man, man, pack up your bags, man. Go to the fucking, man, listen, go down to the homeless shelter, man. It's a wrap for you, bro. Now let's continue. The article went on to say, one video titled, Do Black Women Benefit From Birthing Black Males? Directs hate at black male children because they turn into black male adults, which equals the enemy of black women and advocates for black women to abort male fetuses because if we don't give birth to them then they don't exist another video titled should we continue to give birth to them similarly suggests that the best path to eliminate black men is for black women to eliminate them in the womb so listen at the end of the day did cynthia g really think that the big advertisers that are partnered with youtube they wanted their brand they wanted the corporation attached to this message as a content creator you're supposed to be an asset for the platform but once you start pushing out inflammatory rhetoric aimed at children you no longer become an asset you become a liability to the platform and thus they have to terminate your contract as with any other arrangement between an employer a partner independent contractor employee whatever it may be you see with this lady right here miss love jones she's speaking from the heart she's talking about how she feel about the situation i'm talking about what it is i'm coming from logical thinking i'm talking about business i'm talking about dollars and cents and from a logical standpoint from a business standpoint it makes no logical sense to have anybody on a platform promoting that type of inflammatory rhetoric against children it doesn't it doesn't provide any benefit to the business now let's continue your womb is a literally a portal that ushers in spirits into this physical realm. We have that. Men don't. We naturally create. They don't. That's why they hate us so bad. We just don't. It is what it is. Not all. We always have to say not all. Give that little bullshit disclaimer. But we clearly know that there are some that won't have us scrubbing the ground. But do they exist by the droves? No. Is that Now, I'm not even going to address her opening statement. I'm just going to leave it at that. It's not even worth addressing, but I'm just going to address what she said towards the end when she said, not all men, right? She said, not all men are like that, whatever, whatever, baby, you don't have to say not all men, because as soon as the men that are not like that, as soon as they heard that come out your mouth, they've, you've already eliminated yourself from the running. You've already eliminated yourself. You've already categorized yourself as trash. They've already heard. Oh my God. The mentality is trash. That's why. Listen, I told, I told these women, bro, the reason why you cannot find the men that you want to get with 
is because as soon as you open your mouth, he knows exactly what he's dealing with. He knows exactly this type of toxic mentality that you have. He knows you don't have no respect for black men. So as a black man who is on top of his shit, why would he attach himself to you? That's the reason why. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Y'all sit up on this internet ranting and raving and ranting and raving about the black man ain't doing that. The black man ain't doing this. Well, guess what? The black men that are on top of their shit, the black men that's handling their business, they don't want shit to do with you, bro. They don't want shit to do with you because as soon as you open your mouth, they categorize you in the category of trash. As soon as you open your mouth, you could look amazing on the outside, but as soon as he gets a glimpse of your mindset, it's like you went from being a 10 to being a three, immediately, immediately. And I'm sure for women, it's the same thing because my sisters have told me stories of how they met a guy who, you know, on the outside, on the surface, everything looked amazing. But as soon as he opened his mouth, as soon as she got a glimpse of his personality, man, she was just completely turned off, just deleted his number, blocked his number, never wanted to speak to him ever again. And the same thing goes for men. We could meet a beautiful woman, but as soon as I find out she watches Cynthia G, oh my God, man, what? Come on, bro, listen, garbage. And let me tell you this, what black man in his right mind would want to dedicate his life and provide for a woman who listens to Cynthia G? Let's be honest, what black man wants to get up five, six days a week every morning to provide and pay bills for a woman sitting up late night listening to Cynthia G, man? Come on, man, come on, man. Like, out of all the women across the world, why would he attach himself to such garbage? Like, let's be for real, bro. Let's let's be for real. Let's be for real. Even YouTube agrees with me. That's why they wiped that garbage off the platform, bro. Let's be honest. This is a self-fulfilling prophecy. The reason why y'all rant and rave about the black man not doing this, the black man that can't take care of their kids, is because that's the black man you qualify for, baby girl. You don't qualify for the top of the class. You don't qualify for the black man on top of his shit. You don't qualify for the black man getting up every morning doing this thing you qualify for the low-hanging fruit you qualify for the trash at the bottom of the barrel because that is a reflection of yourself that is a reflection of yourself i know you don't want to hear it but i would tell the same thing to a man if a man was sitting up every single day ranting and raving about his misfortune with women i would tell the same thing brother if the only woman you can come in contact with the only woman you have access to is the low-hanging fruit at the bottom of the barrel my brother look in the mirror man look in the mirror because how come the women at the top of the class don't want to be with you how come the top ranked women don't want to get with you how come you only have access to the garbage? How come? And I would tell the same thing to the women. How come y'all only have access to the garbage? I'm not trying to hear no excuses because if my grandmother could find a good man, my auntie could find a good man, my mother could find a good man, my sister could find a good man. Bro, if all the women in my family could find a good man, I'm not trying to hear shit, bro. They don't got no superpowers. They're regular women just like you. But how were they able to find a good black man to raise their kid and start a family? But meanwhile, all the good black men hiding from you. All the good black men running and hiding from you. You can't find them. Even in the goddamn daytime with a flashlight, you can't even find a good black man because they, listen, they purposely staying away from you. Listen, it's a reason why. They are purposely staying away. They are purposely staying away from you. And that's why every single day, y'all gather up in these circles of trauma to trauma bond together and talk about how much black men don't want y'all, how much black men don't prefer y'all. Because black men who have sense, they have the intelligence and the discernment to know that why would they attach themselves to a, a woman with a toxic mentality who has no respect for him as a human being? It doesn't make any sense. Because in the mind of that man, this is what he is thinking. His parents put in so much work for him to get where he is today, for him to now break open the safe and share the family treasures with a woman who has the who has a mentality of a garbage can? Man, stop it, bro. Stop it. It's a reason why none of y'all can locate a decent black man even with GPS location. It's a reason why so many of y'all be talking about divesting and grabbing the leftovers from the white community. But eventually, you gotta look in the mirror, man. You gotta look in the mirror, bro. All this sitting up day and night ranting and raving about the black man and, and trying to get the leftovers from the white community that Becky doesn't want. Man, listen. It gotta be more to life than that, man. It gotta be more to life than that. I'm telling you. It gotta be more to life than that. The majority of y'all in Cynthia G's fan base is going to be 75 years old, still ranting and raving about that bum ass dude that got you pregnant back when you were 24 years old, man. Still moving in the same place in life on a goddamn hamster wheel on a treadmill, not going nowhere fast, man. But I do want to address that last part on the video one more time. I'm going to run the footage one more time and I want to talk about it. Let's go. Not all. We always have to say not all. Give that little bullshit disclaimer. But we clearly know that there are some that won't have us scrubbing the ground. But do they exist by the droves? No. Is that now in that section of the video, she said a so-called good black man, they don't exist in droves, right? They're not widespread available. Well, guess what? If that archetype was available in droves, then it would no longer be valuable. It would no longer be valuable. The reason why those men are sought after is because they are rare. The reason why those men are admired is because they are rare. The reason why those men are powerful is because they are rare. The reason why every woman wants those men is because they are rare. It's like when you're driving down the street, right? And you see and you see a Rolls Royce truck coming down the street. You see a Lambo truck coming down the street. You see a Ferrari coming down the street. You double take, you break your neck because you don't see it very often. It's rare, it's special. And it's the same thing goes for the men. And I say the same thing for the women too. I tell my brothers the same thing, brother. A top 
a top ranked woman, an intelligent black woman that, that checks all the boxes, brother, that's like 5% of the population. I've said that before on my channel. It's very rare. That's why they're so amazing because when you get one, you lock it down immediately because it's rare. It's the rare gemstone. It's the real authentic jewelry. It's the black diamonds. That's what it is, bro. Because if it was not rare, then it would be like the cheap Amazon jewelry, right? You got the you got the real authentic jewelry, then you got the cheap Amazon jewelry. In general, a good man and a good woman, it is rare, bro. It is rare. The vast majority of individuals are not cut out for what they want. It's just a fact of the matter, man. It's just a fact of the matter. Men don't have it any easier, bro. I'm telling you. I've said it myself. I said only 5% of the population has what it takes to really be, you know, the mother of your children and, you know, the matriarch of your family and the wife. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've said that before on my channel. It's very rare. But like I said, you only need one. You don't need every single one. You only need to find one good woman, one good man. That's all you need. That's all you need, man. That's all you need. What this lady wants, she wants every man to be a Rolls Royce. Well, guess what? Every man will never be a Rolls Royce. That's like every woman will never be a Lambo truck, okay? At the end of the day, right? So the man who is a Rolls Royce, he is looking for a Lambo truck. But the thing is, Miss Love Jones, you want to get with the Rolls Royce, but you are the goddamn Nissan Murano. You the 1999 Nissan Murano, and you look, you're trying to get with the brand new New Body 7 Series that just came out on the market. And I'm sorry, you're not compatible. You're not, you're not the equivalent. I'm sorry. You're not the equivalent, okay? So yes, they do exist. They do exist, but are you compatible with that man? Do you have what it takes to get with that 2023 7 Series? No, you don't. No, you don't. You are the 2007 Nissan Altima with 300,000 miles with the goddamn alternator blowing out and shit like that. So stop it. Just stop it. Okay, stop it. Your, your mentality is all upside down. It's garbage. A man of that caliber would never choose you as the matriarch of his family, the mother of his children. It would never happen. Okay, it would never happen. It, no. No, there's no way any any black man, any white man, any Asian man, any Indian man of any caliber is going to sit up going to work every single day to provide for a woman who doesn't even have basic respect for him as a human being. I'm sorry to tell you, it's just not happening. And you, you can say, oh, we're going to divest, we're going to get white men. Listen, the only white man y'all going to get is the leftovers from the white community, okay? The leftovers that Becky doesn't want. The leftovers that couldn't make it in their own community and they had to go get in the, they had to go to the black community, okay? They had to go to a they had to go to a disenfranchised community because they couldn't get the women in their own community, okay? Y'all not getting the, the top of the class white man. Stop it. Y'all getting the bottom of the barrel white dudes who work at the goddamn club, who work at the bar, who work at a fifty thousand dollar year job. Stop it, man. Stop it. Anyway, it's your boy Never Card that's a lean back in the building. Yes indeed. And I'm gone. Peace. Reincarnated, I'm back in the original fashion. I left on a horse and came back in that ass, and I left with abundance and came back to famine. We used to be pyramids, now we be rapping. Look how the mighty have fallen. Used to be running, now we be walking. When you be cooning, that's when they applauded. Selling your soul, your sons and your daughter. Gotta come up in this shit. They stuck in the mix. Really, my heart would be breaking. That's why I'm stacking that paper and handle my business. Pass it down in generation. Talking about money and power and building a nation. That's a deadly combination. Never be watching the TV, they pushing the genders. Falsifying information. Know they got malice intentions Step in the room and I'm feeling the tension Enemy watching me blocking my vision Pay for the check cause I need my redemption Building my kingdom, I need to protect it Ready for war like a young money Congo Never decided the team is the motto Up in the crib and I'm whipping up waffles Up in the crib and I'm smoking gelato I'm chilling, I'm taking my pain and make it ambition I'm blessed by the gods, but I ain't religious I came for the power, they came for the bitch They making no hourly wage, I got business This shit is an art, and they can never be taught Selling my soul, I can never be bought Play with my money, I see you ain't caught Run to the check and I do it for sport Babylon falling, I go to the source Packing my luggage and go overseas Shorty be with me and she so elite Shorty be chugged and I'm calling her Hershey Secret intelligence probably gon' murk me Don't fuck with brands cause nigga I'm Haitian Say the wrong shit and you're smacking their faces